Okay, so you've just finished creating the trigger step in Zapier, and now you're going to pick your autoresponder. And so in this video, we're going to talk about what if you are connecting Email Slurper to Actionetics. Okay, so this video will end up going right here. And so first thing you're going to need to do is to create a list in Actionetics. So you're going to go to Email Lists, create a new list, and assuming you don't already have one already. Let's just call it um, Email Slurper Facebook Group Members, okay? Or Gentle Dental Facebook Group Members, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and say Create New List. Okay, so here is my list where everyone will come in from Email Slurper, okay? So what you need to do is create a new funnel. This is just a place to give um, these contacts a place to land. So I'm actually just going to go to Classic Funnel Builder, create a new funnel. And this one's going to be collecting email. So I'm going to hit Choose. And we'll call it um, Email Slurper Facebook Group Opt-in. Something along those lines, whatever you want to call it, really and build funnel. At this point, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick a template. I think this one here is a good one. This orange one, I recommend picking the orange one. But any of them really should work. I'm just going to click select template. And what I really want to do here is uh, wire this up with my integrations. I want to connect this funnel to uh, Actionetics. So for settings and integrations, I'm going to select Actionetics over here. Null Actionetics. And I'm going to add to a list. And the list I'm going to add them to will be my new one that we just made. Email Surper Facebook Group Members. Okay and we'll save that. So basically what we have here is a funnel that's going to add people to that list. Okay, So what we have to do now is go and get the URL of this funnel. So we're going to actually going to take this here and we're going to... and notice that no one's ever going to see this page. We're just going to programmatically, we're going to use code in Zapier, we're going to actually uh, send a request to that URL using code rather than going through the actual form here. So I'm going to go visit the funnel, and this URL where this land, that's what the key information that we're going to need. Okay, so we'll keep that there. So now we're going to head over to Zapier. And we're going to find the zap that we were working on. Could be a little bit different than last time, but basically, you have uh, basically we have a um, a zap Facebook group to Actionetics zap. Okay, so we've already imported our trigger step. Now we're going to pick the um, action step. So we're going to click Add a step. It's going to be an action step. And in this case, we actually want to use the webhooks app. And it's going to be a post. Click Save and Continue. And here is where we want to put that URL. Okay, so we're going to go back to this landing page. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste that right here. Okay. Now here's the magic. Anything else that we want to pass in to that page, we're going to use um, query parameters is what's called. It's called query parameters. And so we have to build up a URL. And so we're going to pass in the email address. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a question mark and then email and then equals sign. And now we're going to find the, the field in the, from the spreadsheet row and add it there, like a variable. Okay, 
So here we're going to find the email address. Okay, if we want to add some more information, then we're going to say, um, we're going to do an ampersand and, and name equals, let's go find the variable. So I, I'm not positive what it would take to get first name and last name to be broken out, but for now, the best thing I can recommend is to choose full name. Okay. Now that's going to be, this is going to be your safest bet, which should work. Um, if you, in my experimentations, if you wanted to try to send in some other information, it looks like it will make it over. Uh, and and we can show you how that would work, okay? But for now, let's just keep with the with the simple basics of passing in the email and the full name. So we're going to go ahead and go continue. And we're actually going to test this step. So Jim Rehearsed and then that email. So we're just going to go ahead and hit send test to webhooks by Zapier. Okay, and hopefully that was successful. If not, make sure you've got everything typed in just like we have here in the video with the question mark and the email equals and then the ampersand, etc. So what we're going to do now is go over back over to ClickFunnels for this uh, page we were working with and go to Contacts. And there we can see less than a minute ago, Jim Rehearsed was added. Go to General Info, and we can see that uh, we've got this information that came through. And this actually looks like all of that kind of came through in the in the um, post. So that's kind of cool. You actually do have that information there if you want to reference it. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but uh, looks like all that information did come in. So, um, after that, what you're going to do is just hit finish and then turn your zap on. And since, uh, since that information did come over just fine, right here, e what email tool do you use? Active campaign. The only other thing I would say is if you wanted to experiment with it, you could um, you could come in here and say and you know YouTube or whatever you want to put equals and you could say question or answer three and so you could try to send that through again and we'll retest this step and we'll send that test. See, so it says YouTube equals active campaign. We're going to go ahead and send that test through as well. And that was successful. So if we come back and refresh this page, you should see it says YouTube here, and it says active campaign. So it's a little bit cleaner than column A, column D, all that stuff. So if you care about that, then that's a way to get it to come across a little bit cleaner. So for whatever that's worth, I, I, I wasn't able to see how you would maybe use these in an automation or not, so I'm not sure how much value that gives, other than the fact that you can just come in here and reference this if you, if you need to. So um, you'll just finish that and then set the zap to active. And then from there, You'll just wait for new rows to come into the spreadsheet, and then that should add to the um, to the contact list here in Actionetics. And then from there, you would want to, um, I guess, start off a new follow-up funnel for the uh, for the list that you just made, and you will make my Welcome to my group follow-up funnel. 
And that's about as far as I can take you because I'm not that well versed in follow-up funnels. So um, hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you in the next training. Bye.